Would you dare to approach a swarm that can kill a horse in minutes? What if I told you there are bees so deadly that provoking just one could lead to a chase that ends in death? Not all bees are the friendly honeymakers we see in cartoons or buzzing around flowers. Some are flying war machines, aggressive, venomous, and merciless. Today you're going to meet the most dangerous bees on the planet, species that defy everything you thought you knew about these tiny insects. From killer bees that hunt you down, to giant hornets that decapitate their prey, this is not your average documentary. But before we dive in, drop a comment below. Are you afraid of bees? Have you ever been stung? And of course, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because around here, we dive deep into the wildest creatures Earth has to offer. Now buckle up, because what you're about to hear may forever change how you view these buzzing little beasts. 1. Killer Bees the Africanized Menace. Let's start with the most infamous of all, the Africanized honeybee, also known as the killer bee. These bees are the result of a failed scientific experiment that took place in Brazil in the 1950s. Scientists attempted to cross European honeybees with more resilient African bees to boost honey production in tropical climates. But the hybrids escaped, and nature did the rest. These bees quickly spread across South and Central America and eventually reached the southern United States. But what makes them so dangerous? It's not their venom, which is chemically similar to that of regular honeybees, it's their behavior. Killer bees are extremely aggressive. While a normal bee might sting once and leave you alone, killer bees attack in massive numbers, hundreds or even thousands, and will chase their target up to a full kilometer. There are recorded cases where victims tried to hide underwater, only to be swarmed the moment they came up for air. In the US alone, there have been dozens of deaths attributed to killer bee attacks. In some rural areas of Brazil and Mexico, the numbers are even higher. The swarms are relentless, and once they see you as a threat, there's almost no escape. 2. The Giant Japanese Hornet, Murder Hornet While not technically a bee, the Japanese giant hornet, Vespa mandarinia japonica, earns a place on this list for one terrifying reason, its brutal attacks on bee colonies and people. Locally known as the murder hornet, this beast measures nearly 2 inches, 5 centimeters in length, with a wingspan that sounds like a small drone. It has massive mandibles that slice through other insects like scissors through paper, and it shows no mercy. A single hornet can kill dozens of bees in minutes, and a group of just 30 hornets can wipe out an entire hive of thousands of bees in under 3 hours. They literally decapitate the bees and take their thoraxes to feed their young. But what about humans? The sting of this hornet is legendary. The pain is described as like being stabbed with a hot nail, and the venom is neurotoxic and cytotoxic, capable of causing organ failure, tissue necrosis, and even death. In Japan, they kill around 30 to 50 people every year, often due to allergic reactions or multiple stings. 3. Melipona bees, silent but deadly. Not all dangerous bees come with a terrifying sting. Some, like the Melipona genus found across Latin America, have no sting at all, but still pose serious risks. How? Melipona bees defend their hives by invading your face, literally. They'll crawl into your nose, ears, eyes, and mouth, bite persistently, and release strong pheromones that attract even more bees. It's a full-on sensory assault. Their bites can cause intense swelling and inflammation, especially in sensitive areas like the eyes or airway. In some indigenous regions, these bees are actually used in rituals of endurance, because their defense behavior is so intense. So while melipona bees might not kill you directly, their attack strategy could leave you severely injured, or worse, cause anaphylactic shock in allergic individuals. 4. The Warrior Bees of India, Apis dorsata. Deep in the forests of South and Southeast Asia lives another notorious bee, Apis dorsata, also known as the giant honeybee of India. These bees are massive, often twice the size of the common honeybee, and they build their hives high on cliff faces or tall trees. But size isn't their only defense, it's their unparalleled aggression. If a predator, human or animal, comes too close to their hive, they don't hesitate. These bees launch coordinated swarm attacks, stinging repeatedly and in unison. Their venom causes intense burning pain, and locals describe the sensation as skin being melted. Several deaths have been recorded, particularly among honey hunters and forest workers who accidentally disturb their hives. Worse, smoke and fire don't work as well on Apis dorsata, they fight back with even more ferocity. 5. Trigona bees, 
the poison spreaders. Another little known but dangerous bee group is the Trigona genus. These bees, found in Central and South America, don't rely on stingers. Instead, they use something far more insidious, chemical warfare. Trigona bees smear their victims with acidic substances secreted from their jaws. These substances can melt skin tissue, irritate the eyes, and trigger severe allergic reactions. In large numbers, they overwhelm their targets not by brute force, but by chemical overload, especially dangerous for pets and livestock. Farmers in some regions have reported blindness in animals and necrosis in exposed areas after swarms of trigona bees attacked. So the next time you hear that familiar buzzing sound, maybe think twice before swatting it away. From the relentless killer bees of the Americas, to the nightmare-inducing hornets of Japan, these creatures prove that size doesn't matter when nature wants to send a warning. Bees are essential for pollination, for food production, for life as we know it, but when provoked, some species fight back with deadly consequences. Which of these bees freaked you out the most? Let us know in the comments. And if you've had a close encounter with a swarm or been stung in a bizarre way, we want to hear your story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive into nature's most powerful predators. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe, and watch where you step.